cheat on this one a little bit because uh, this would take a long, long time to it'd be a 25-minute movie. So I'll explain to you what you've, what I've done because uh, it's no different than what we've done before. I'm um, just putting it all together now. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that where we have our doc type HTML, our character set is using Unicode 8, and we're linked back to our style sheet that outlines the um, how the page is going to look. Along the top, I have three uh, links. These links go to external, uh, actually these links go to um, anchors or bookmarks that are below. So we can see that hashtag tips. The title is going to be what's shown when I mouse over it. This is what's going to be shown in the blue. Down here, here's the where the H2ID tips. So when I, someone clicks here, it's going to go down to here. And that's part of the H2 tag. Then I have a top back to top anchor that we've used before and that's just going to take them back up to the, our, our menu items here. Here's something new, an iframe. iframe is going to put a box onto our page and inside that box we can display things such as uh, videos and things like that. Here we're going to just display the contents of a website. So iframe source equals and then we put the link to where it could find the content. This part down here, this get a better browser, um, we're putting that in there, I don't need this, putting that in there just because if our I, if they're using a very old browser, then um, they're not going to see the iframe. But that has to be a pretty old browser. So uh, we're just going to put that in as a placeholder. And this is how we close our iframe. Then, um, right after that huge box that will be there, then we do the same thing for injuries. Again, back to top iframe for that website and then our final one after that is for our rackets and that also has an iframe uh, to those rackets so let's go ahead and take a look at and see how this looks when we go into the preview tag <coughs> so here here are our three links above when I click on the first one it's going to bring us back, back bring us to this um, H2 tag right here and then I can see the website and I can actually a person can navigate all through this and that's the beauty of it is allowing a person to be able to look around at other websites while still on ours Then they go back to the top and they can go to the next one and here's the content for that and you can see it's right here and then back to the top then I go to the final one and here's that other website and again same thing um, so here's for tennis rackets and this one's opening in a whole new window so that's going to be irritating to our user but if they click on say this one right here it's going to it's going to show it inside that window now when they actually go ahead and hit the uh, purchase button it is going to open up to another tab for the user we can't help that as part of the functionality of their website allowing them to be able to buy something on Amazon. All right, so um, let's go back. And one of the things I had to do is the iframe itself is fairly small. So what I had to do is I had to make it larger on the page by describing how tall it was and how wide it is. But I don't want to do it within that iframe there. What I had to do is I had to go and change my CSS page. Um, so if I go back to my tennis CSS, I have a new, ooh, that's ugly, I have a new um, element that I'm changing the um, default setting. So the default setting is pretty, it's like a 200 by 100 by 150 or something like that. It's a pretty, pretty tiny window. So I've made it a thousand height and that might make it larger than some websites, but the websites we have actually fits pretty nicely and actually I have to scroll a little bit. Then the width is 90%, so it'll be 90% of our page giving us a little margin on either side. I describe it here, um, and let's uh, save that, so that when I do view it, it ends up being in this large one. Other than that, it would be about this size, and that's not what we want. So let me go back to the code, just in case you're typing off this. Uh, so we can see what I did. 
just like we did in other pages. I created three hyperlinks at the very top. And in fact, I, I should have one more. So I'm going to add one more in. And that's going to be a, and that's going to be my index.htm. And that's going to be my home page. And I'm going to put an alt, I mean a title on that. And that's going to be equal go to the home page. And close that. And now I have another link on there. And then I'm going to need two spaces to move everything over. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So each of these is just pushing it off. So even though it's on separate lines, it's going to go right across the page. So we're going to have four links on there. One link to our page, three links to bookmarks. And again, this one here, tips, goes to this one right here, our H2 tag for expert. Then we're going to have a link back. Then we're going to break the line and actually put a paragraph thing. And then we're going to use our iframe again to create a page within a page and then tell it what we want to put in there. Um, so that's the source. What goes in between the start and the close iframe tag is going to be just text, just in case the iframe doesn't show up. So that's why I just put get a better browser. Uh, probably should be uh, your your browser does not support iframes, but uh, considering they're using a third word third world browser, they probably would understand that English anyway. And now we have H2. That's injuries. That comes from this one. So we use that hashed injuries to when they click on test injuries, it comes down to this H2 tag for injuries. Link to back to top paragraph to move it down and then iframe that takes us to this website right here and again the get better browser and then the very end of that is the close the iframe so don't forget you have to close the iframe you could probably close it right away without putting this get a better browser since just about every modern browser is going to be supported of that which is why we're using this okay and the same thing for here then we have our final one and off we go so previewed again now I have my home link that you're hearing is uh, the, the pages loading in the background. So if I go to Tennis Energy Injuries, there they are. And again, I can go through this and read it, and I can click on links and all that stuff within that frame. And then I can go to my last one, and that is where I purchase a tennis record or find the ratings. So if I'm looking to buy one, I can go ahead and buy one from here, and this will go right back to uh, an Amazon store. All right, so that's it. That's how we use um, iframes to be able to display content from other websites on our page. In fact, this um, this video that you're watching is uh, presented in an iframe on my lesson page.